Hey guys, James Sane. So today's video, uh, short, but it's about how to record yourself giving a PowerPoint presentation on the computer. So one of my colleagues at work, she's working on a master's degree in nursing and because of the distance learning, she has to do a PowerPoint presentation on the computer that needs to be recorded and then submit it electronically for grading. So she doesn't have to present it live to an instructor, but as if she's presenting to her class and then she will submit that. So she's asking me how to do it. And there are two ways of doing it. Uh, one is through a program called OBS, which is a free software, but that's a little more cumbersome compared to Zoom, which is also a free software. OBS is easier if you have two computer screens. Uh, and if you don't, then it's a little more technically challenging. So I'm just going to show you the Zoom way because it's so much easier. But I am using OBS because it's, it's recording my screen in Zoom, which is here, which I haven't started uh, the meeting yet in Zoom. Or I haven't, I'm sorry, I haven't started recording yet. So I have a Zoom meeting open and then you would start record here on the taskbar. And so now I can see that it is recording up here. Uh, now for the Zoom only, so when you're, uh, so this is, I'm showing you a screen capture via OBS so that you can see my taskbar down here with the things that I can choose and then my recording that's going on up here. Now this, this here is the Zoom presentation and you don't see my I'm showing my taskbar that I can see, but you can't because it's on Zoom. All right, so back to the OBS version. So here I've already started recording, and then I'm going to go to share screen. And I'm going to, I have a PowerPoint presentation open down here. Let me pop the PowerPoint presentation up. Okay, so I do have it on the second screen. So I'm going to say share screen. And then if you only had one screen, you'd pick the one screen, but I'm, I'm going to share screen too, and I'm gonna click start sharing. And I'm showing you this on OBS so that you can see what I see. Now, I'm going to open up my PowerPoint presentation, and now I'm gonna to switch to Zoom, and then this is what is being recorded in Zoom. So now that I sit here, I see, and you see the same thing as the Here's my window of me doing a presentation. And here is my PowerPoint presentation, which you could go through and present it this way. The problem is I have some animations here, but when you go through in this mode of, power, of, of, of PowerPoint, the animations aren't active. So what I do like about Zoom compared to OBS, when I go into uh, PowerPoint presentation mode, this icon here, slideshow now i can see my powerpoint presentation and i can see the video so i know that my you know my video is not obscuring as i'm trying to record and present my presentation i can move my video around i can resize it i can make it larger i can make it smaller so that's why zoom is so much better than obs in my opinion and then the reason if you wanted to record yourself this way is that your animations that you have put in in PowerPoint are now active. So as I go to the next screen and then here like are some things that are underlined. Um, you may have some other type of uh, animation. You may have a video that you're gonna play in your PowerPoint presentation. Sometimes I have the, the, uh, the, the, the lines of text in PowerPoint. They may blink, they may fade in, and they may grow and shrink. Anything I'm trying to bring attention to the students, um, I got a lot of things underlined in this, <laughs> in this presentation. So my students know anything underlined is fair game for test questions. Um, so I'm going to escape out of the PowerPoint presentation. And so really Zoom is a, a relatively painless way as long as you have a, a computer and you have, a, you have to have a camera. So a camera built into your laptop um to do this so that's the easiest way to do it okay guys and then finally when you end your zoom meeting and i'll end the meeting and i'll record it on obs so that you can see how i end it uh, zoom will then take the recorded meeting and convert it into an mp4 
file that's saved on your hard drive or you could hook up an external hard drive however you want to save it um, so that you can then you could either uh, electronically transmit that file if you got everything the way you want it to be in one take or then you could use you could put it into Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or whatever, you, whatever it is you use for video editing but that's a whole nother uh, that's a whole nother video so here the zoom meeting is is uh, taking place so I'm going to go to uh, end meeting and then end meeting for all now the nice video is going to end and then we're going to switch to the poor webcam that I have up there and let me put this over here so you can see it so it converts the meeting recording and then it pops up let me slide it over here so you can see it so it pops up over here and I would suggest uh, you know renaming it so this is the zoom ending on zoom because I'm gonna have a zoom ending on OBS on OBS as well um, and then so then you have that file saved wherever you have it and then and then you can use that um, um, for your presentation all right guys thanks so much all right guys uh, if you find the video helpful uh, hit the like button it would help my channel and if the information is useful consider subscribing to my channel and if you do turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out all right thanks so much and we'll see you in the next video